let me make up some numbers for this next problem. I'm going to go with 3 and 5 corresponding with each other, x and 8, y and 12. Now, I specifically made some numbers that are going to give us a little bit of a mess here, but let's start with our correspondences that we do know. We do know that 3 and 5 go along with each other, and by the way, I should have said these are assumed to be similar figures. And we know that x will go with 8, and y will go with 12. So I'm going to start with the following. 3 matches to 5 in the same way that x matches to 8. Cross multiplying, I would have 5x equals 24, and x will equal 24 fifths. Likewise, I can set up an equation with the y's. 3 over 5 matches y over 12. Cross multiplying, we have 5y equals 36, and therefore y is going to equal 36 fifths. Okay, this next problem is one of those work problems working together, and it's always going to be fraction plus fraction equals 1, the way I teach this. Um, hose A can do the job alone in 10 hours. Hose B can do this in 12 hours. How long would it take if they're working together? Well, X's are what we're looking for. Again, my way of doing this problem is to put the alone times down in the denominator and the together time up in the numerator. I'm going to multiply through by a least common denominator of 60 to clear the fractions. And this will give us 6x plus 5x equals 60. So 11x is equal to 60, and x is going to equal 60 elevenths hours. And these work problems typically do not have nice, clean solutions. In this distance rate time problems, we see that we're dealing with the same time because of that phrase, in the time it takes. And so whenever I have the same time pattern, I go with d over r is equal to d over r. And I like to label one side as being upstream and the other as being downstream before I start substituting in values. So here we go. The current is 2 miles an hour. We'll get to that in a minute. Upstream is 12 miles. Downstream the distance is 20 miles. Okay. Now, we're trying to find the speed of the boat by itself without the current. When you're going upstream, the current is working against you. So the boat is traveling at a speed of r minus 2, where 2 is the current. And downstream, you're getting a boost by the current, and so you're traveling at a speed of r plus 2. Now, let's solve this by either multiplying through by the least common denominator, which is r minus 2 times r plus 2, or cross multiplying, which basically has the same effect. We will have 12 times r plus 2 is equal to 20 times r minus 2. Doing the distribution, we have 12r plus 24 equals 20r minus 40. I'm going to subtract all the r's off to the right-hand side, leaving me with 8r, and I'm going to add 40 to both sides to get 64. So r is going to equal 8 miles an hour for the speed of the boat on its own. We see here that we're dealing with inverse variation, t inversely with x. So t is equal to k over x as a starting point. And it tells us with x is 40, t is 200. So 200 is equal to x over 40. Multiplying each side by 40, I find out that this value of k is going to equal 8,000. So I can rewrite my general equation as t is equal to 8,000 over x. And then it says find t when x is 50. So we'll substitute in 50 for x. Note that I can divide the numerator and denominator by 10, canceling out those zeros. And then the, what's left, 800 divided by 5, is equal to 160.